This is Sarah Walker, and she's with the Curated House, and this is a piece for a one-room design challenge, right? That's right. I've got six weeks to totally transform a space, and I am so excited about this piece from Ashley Woodson Bailey. I feel like it's going to be the soul and the statement for the room. I'm super excited for how the resin is really just going to up the saturation and the life in it. So. Yeah, so am I. I'm also very nervous because big pieces like this, especially black, we want to get this perfect. So, so this is a print that's mounted on a wooden panel that your husband made. Yep. Yeah. So. And it's a rag paper. It's a Haven Mill rag yeah. paper. So we wanted to make sure that there was no chemical interaction. Right? Exactly. Yeah. So sometimes with expensive papers, a reaction can happen between the resin and either the ink or the paper, and then tons of little tiny little bubbles can form. So, to to make sure that doesn't happen. We varnished it first, yeah. but most of the time you're okay, so you don't have to varnish because our resin is a sealant. But we just want it to be perfect. Just in certain cases yeah. with special papers and yeah. yeah. Okay, so let's just go. Before we started, we already measured and we mixed all of the art resin that we need, and we're not going to go over that math because it's so there's complicated. There's a calculator for that. Yeah, there's a calculator on the site, and it hurt our it's heads. Steel. Math. Exactly. Yeah. Especially without coffee. Oh my gosh. And what we're going to try today is instead of letting the resin run down the edges, we're going to have a bit of patience and we're going to push all of the resin right to the edge and then stop so that it doesn't drip over the sides. Mm -hmm. To create a doming effect. Yeah, so that's the plan anyways. We can do it, Dave. So yeah, this is going to be gorgeous, eh? Yeah, incredible. So because of the paper, we're going to use the smooth side, right? We found that these jagged spreaders, if you push too hard, you can actually scrape into your print. So just be careful of that. So we're not using the jagged part. So Dave, I'm going to let you show me how to get to the edge without going over. All right. That's the part that makes me nervous this time. Yeah, and you know what? Worst case scenario, a bit of it falls over the yeah, edge. Yeah, we can wipe the edge off. And we can wipe it off, and if that still bugs you, it's just the edging tape. Yep. If you can wrap a present, you can edge a canvas. All right, so here's all I'm going to do. Just be patient. And edge it. And stop. Okay, we can do that. Anyways, we're gonna do this. Look at the center sections where it's already glassed. Oh, yeah, that's so cool. Gorgeous. And we've spread the resin out over the whole piece. We were very careful to push it right to the edge and not let it fall over. Although, in a couple places, it did drip over. The good thing is, we can just use another layer of edging tape. Yeah, it's not the end of the world. No. We're still going to have that doming effect, which is what we wanted. So next step is torching. Okay, how do you feel? I'm excited to do the, the torching because, okay. you know, so iron it out. It's like the scene from Crocodile Lindy. That's not a knife. I can't do an Australian accent though. Yeah, Rebecca has a hard time with Australian accents too, right? I can that? do a British accent, no problem. I think I just haven't heard, like, spent enough time with Australian people. Yeah. Which is truly a shame, and I clearly need to rectify that. <laughs> okay. Now, the last step is we are going around with toothpicks and just looking for any hairs or specks of dust. Okay, so that's all done? Yep. So we'll wait 24 hours? Yes. Look at it tomorrow? Yep. And when can we see the final result and where do we see that? So uh, this coming Wednesday is week five, so you can go to the Curated House to see some of those updates. Curatedhouse.com. Certainly follow me on Instagram too, at the Curated House. Week six is the following week, so you can see the whole room revealed with the art in place. Awesome. Can't wait to see it. Yeah, me too. Good. Well, that was fun. Yeah, thanks, Steve. And uh, I hope there's not a hair in it, but I think we did pretty good. I think so. And we always have ways of fixing. Everything is figure outable, right? That's right. Yes. Okay, so tune in next time for, uh, we'll do something else. Yes. Something interesting. Yes. Always interesting. Yeah. Thanks, okay. Steve. Yeah, thanks, okay. Sarah. Yep. That's a wrap. That's a wrap.